Hey everyone, it's Angela from ABPN.com and as you can see on my screen I have this picture of a flower with a little flower droplet but I'm not done yet. I wanted to show you guys what I would do to add more contrast to this picture because I love it when you guys check out my ebook and then you send me your first um, HDR image and I think they're all great. But a lot of I've noticed that a lot of times I when people ask me for suggestions, I suggest that they add more contrast. So I just wanted to give you a little video on how I add contrast to my own pictures. So um, this is the background layer that I have up here and I'm going to duplicate my layer and just call it color because I'm going to adjust the contrast and the color in it so I'm just going to do that all in one layer. And this is a little trick that I learned when I was first learning how to use Photoshop and I was first learning about levels. So what I do is, first thing I do is I go to image, adjustments, and I go to desaturate. And what this does is it changes your picture into a black and white picture. So you can definitely see um, the values of gray that are in the shot and we want to get some definite blacks and some definite whites. So what I do is I go to image, adjustments, levels. And then from there, you will see a histogram. And in my previous video, I talked about histograms, what I meant. So the left side, it means all your darks. The right side is all your whites. And then this one in the center, the arrow, is all your grays. So the first thing I do is adjust my blacks. And I go just, you know, playing around, estimating where I think it would look good. I kind of wanted to leave it... Um, not have so many darks because it is a flower picture so I want to make it more a little bit more delicate so I'll only maybe go about to right here 11 10 to my darks and then I'll go to my whites and in my whites I want to up that out I want to up it because I want it to be a little bit more brighter than darker in this shot and I don't want to go too bright because I don't want to lose all the information that I have right here so maybe just a little bit, 235 looks good. And then we'll adjust the grays to be light. So we'll do it at 116. So remember these numbers, 10, 1.16, and 235. And then we're gonna hit cancel. We're not gonna keep those. And then we wanna unsaturate it. So what I did was I just edit Control Z, which is step backwards. And then I'm going to go to my levels again, which is Command L, if you're using a MacBook. So we want to do 10, 1.16, 235. And then that is how I create my levels, or at least that's how I did when I first started, when I was learning um, levels. If you're a little bit more advanced and you want to, you think you can do this on your own, you don't have to desaturate your pictures. You can just go straight to the levels and adjust them how you see accordingly. So I would probably, now that I see the final result, I'd probably add a little bit more darkness. And I think that looks really good. So if we go back to what it looked like um, when we first started, this is what it looks like when it first started. So do you see the contrast, the brights and the darks? in the image and this can really help out your final product of your image a whole lot so i hope this helps please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this and i'll see you guys later bye